Hello everyone, this is Indigo Cirrus here. Um, sorry it's been quite a while since I posted a video. Life has been kind of crazy lately, but uh, I've been doing well and I wanted to get a video out to you guys. The focus for this pick a card is what is some messages that you need to know for upcoming for September? Okay, so kind of preparing yourself. I have four piles here. Uh, there's pile one, which is the Shiva shell. Pile number two, which is the Moonstone Heart. Pile number three, which is the, this is so pretty, purple Labradorite. It's amazing. And pile number four, which is the Storm Euphorolite. Euphorolite is amazing. Let me just tell you that much. Okay. So to do a pick a card reading, all you need to do is just kind of clear your mind. Just take a deep breath. Clear your mind of any and all stressors everything about the day just kind of get into that meditative space and ask yourself or your higher conscious your spirit guides the universe whoever you might connect with and ask them which pile has the messages i need to hear for upcoming september and then based on that i'll put the timestamps down so just forward to that card pile okay and be sure to listen to your full segment as there will be a little bit of a i don't know surprise or something an announcement at the end so all right pile number one or the shiva shell okay so i have some tarot cards here for you let me just put them over and then i got uh, energy uh arch archangel or chakra card and uh life path, life purpose card. Okay, so for your tarot cards for upcoming September, you have the Eight of Swords reversed, the Ten of Swords upright, and the Moon reversed. You also have then for your energy is adjacent possibilities. For your chakra card and um, archangel card is Uriel, uh, Abundance. That is your crown chakra, that looks like. And then for life path, life purpose is unexpected visitors. All right. So let me just see what I get here for this. The first thing that I notice is there's definitely a duality that you're going to be dealing with heavily coming in sept into September. The reason I say that is because on that Eight of Swords card, the Ten of Swords, and even the the Moon, um, my cards show like different signs on there. So here's Gemini, here's Gemini, and here's Pisces. And all of those signs are kind of some form of duality. The Gemini is about the twins and the Pisces is about the fish, kind of the yin and yang going in opposite directions. So that's sticking out to me. So you're definitely going to be dealing with some kind of duality. And looking at this, I almost want to say it's, for some of you, it's going to be inside your head. The reason I say that is because of the swords cards. The swords represent uh, air in that, and so like your thoughts. So the eight of swords is reversed. So you're kind of going into September feeling like you got a control on things, you know, like you've got a good routine down, you're in a good spot and all that kind of stuff, right? Well, come into mid-September is where you might start to have some of those old thought patterns come up again. Uh, that and or something I'm going to say something unexpected will come up in mid-September where you'll start to have those maybe negative thoughts or thought patterns come up again and you'll be kind of like almost kicking yourself thinking like, God, I thought I was already done with this stuff, you know, like, I mean, I thought I already had this handled, right? And the reason I say that is because of this adjacent possibilities, which is about all about um, opportunities and there's lots of doorways, lots of different things with the unexpected visitors. That's letting me know like, hey, something big is going to come up for you. Well, what is that something big? Um, 
it's like I can't quite pin it down because it's going to be different for different people that are tuning into this. But I want to say that either way, it's going to be something where it's going to be a good reality check for you. Because uh, the moon card this way is all about um, that depth and things kind of hidden beneath the scenes type of thing, right? Or living kind of in that fantasy area. But with it being reversed, kind of lets you know like, hey, the water's draining out of the pool and you can see into the bottom. This is reality slamming you in the face type of thing, right? And so coupled with that, with the adjacent possibilities and unexpected visitors is definitely, for some of you, I get the sense that it's going to be physically something with a person. Um, they're going to be coming with an offering to you and it may, it, you're going to have to seriously think about it. Okay. Because again, with that moon card reverse is it's that reality. you got to face reality here. Okay. This may be your best option that's coming along the way, or this is, you've been kind of praying or trying to manifest something and it might obviously not look the way that you have intended in your mind, right? So this is its way of coming to you. And so you need to be open to that. And the reason why I say that too, is it's not necessarily something negative is because of this crown chakra, the abundance. Okay. Um, and it's, it's the crown chakra. So that's why that, that really ties in with that manifestation, I believe. Um, so I guess to sum it up is that for September is you're going into September feeling great. Know that something unexpected is going to come up or something that you have been attempting to manifest is going to come to you, but in a different presentation than you had intended or had wanted or envisioned okay so be open to that possibility because it's going to be something kind of out of the blue but in, and instead of just kind of like oh, that's not what i want this is this is not like my vision this is not what i wanted right you need to be open to that because the reality of it is this the universe is presenting it to you that specific way for a specific reason that you may not know at this point in time until I don't know, December is coming to my mind. I don't know why. But so be open to that. All right. So my announcement is, is that I am taking readings at this point in time, uh, personal readings, whether they're uh, psychic readings, I can do some card pulling and all that. Or I can also do mediumship readings where, you know, we can contact with your spirit guides and or past loved ones if you want to have some resolution or some questions. So uh, feel free to contact me via my email, uh, Instagram, or Facebook. I also do have a website finally listed up as well. Um, uh, love and light and good luck. Thank you. Uh, pile number two or the and or the heart moonstone. My gorgeous too. I love it. All right. So the thing is, is I have some tarot cards here, which let's see what yours are. And then an energy card, uh, archangel chakra card, and then a life path, life purpose card. All right, I'm already getting a lot of messages. I'm just gonna start talking. Um, so as I pull this, I'm drawn actually to these bottom cards, which is your life path, life path, life purpose for something that's coming up for you in September is heal the ouch. The chakra or the archangel card is Archangel Uriel with freedom and the crown chakra. And the energy is this doorway to healing and happiness, okay? So I think definitely all of these cards are connected because once I pulled them all over, I definitely started to get the story and the message for these is that in September, you will definitely be working on something that has like a core issue almost like, or if you do shadow work or something or something that you've been attempting to work on or heal within yourself, this will be the opportunity in September for you to really work through and unpack that and leave that behind, leave that baggage behind. Like you will be done with it finally if you do the work. And I, I want to say that you are able to do the work and because of that, you are going to be very successful because of, I mean, look at this door to happiness and healing, like that ties in and heal the ouch, right? And look at this guy. I mean, the word freedom in that and like, he's like 
like, yay, you know, I finally healed myself of this. I'm finally free of it. So that's, that's really, <laughs> I'm actually feeling elated from it. Um, that's a, a really great feeling to finally be done with that chapter, so to speak, or done carrying that baggage forward with you. Okay. So know that if this is something that you've been on your mind and that has been kind of dragging with you throughout the months or the years, that September should be the last month that you really need to unpack that. I'm not going to deny that it may creep up like years from now or months from now, but it's not going to bother you to the level that it is right now, or it's not going to trigger old thought patterns or behaviors or all that kind of stuff because you're done with that. You'll just kind of like notice and be like, huh, this is how I would have reacted to that and look at me now, I'm not, okay? So that is really great news. So as far as for your uh, tarot cards going into September, you have the 10 of wands, oppression, the star card, which is hope, and the four of swords card reversed, which is truce, okay? Which is interesting, I always say it's always interesting, is that on this four of swords card, you see that there's like autumn leaves on there and a butterfly. The butterfly to me represents for that change and that transformation. Okay, so I think that definitely ties into what I had already said is that, okay, so when you're going into September is you're still going to have that baggage or that thing that you need to heal and that, and you've been feeling obviously oppressed for it and you feel out of balance. You feel you can't get into balance because of this thing that's bothering you. You're like, God, why can't I just heal from this? Or why can't I get over this? Or why do I always do this? Like you're feeling oppressed, like how do I get out of this pattern, right? How do I get off the hamster wheel, so to speak, right? But you're having this hope and hopefully even this reading is kind of giving you that glimmer of that hope to show you like, do the work and you will heal, okay? Um, I'm not gonna say that it, it's it's going to be easy for you because it's going to do um, the word diving deep into diving deep into your soul is like a phrase that's coming into my mind. Um, for some of you, it's some very deep shadow work, um, stuff that has made, even if you start to actually sit with that emotion, sit with those thought patterns and that you might be able to track it way back to your childhood. Um, for some of you, even if you believe in it is it may even have occurred in past lives as well. And so if you are willing to do that work in that, you will heal that pattern and get off that hamster wheel. And um, I'm hoping that this, <laughs> that you will do the work because otherwise at this point in time, if you continue on how you are, is you're going to kind of stay stuck and continue that pattern. That's what this is with it being reversed. If it was this way, it'd be like, okay, yeah, great. You're going to overcome that and you're going to find that balance both it being reversed is letting me know like hey you want to start that pattern or breaking that pattern and you have the hope to do so but you're not doing anything about it the the example of my <laughs> that's coming to my mind is like how some people might be like oh the universe I want to I want to have a million dollars I want a hundred thousand dollars whatever right I want to win the lottery okay I want to win the lottery and but then they never go and buy a lottery ticket. So how can you win the lottery if you're not going out and doing doing something, some type of energy or some type of action to get yourself there, okay? So if you wanna heal whatever this may be for you, you need to start taking those actions to heal it instead of just waiting for it to go away because it's not just gonna go away or engaging in like coping skills that are keeping it you know, not dealing with it. You need to deal with it and then you will feel free. Uh, otherwise, you're going to kind of continue to be in that pattern and on that hamster wheel, okay? So, um, and then my announcement for at the end of this video, and thank you for listening, is that I am accepting uh, personal readings right now at this point in time. Uh, and you can get uh, $10 off your reading. And I do psychic as well as medium readings. And you can contact me either through YouTube here, my Instagram, Facebook, or my website as well. So uh, thank you guys very much for listening and tuning in. Thanks. All right, pile number three or the 
purple Labradorite. Isn't it gorgeous? So many pretty ones. Okay. So I have some tarot cards for you. Oh, wow. Okay. I just said, oh, wow, because they're like, uh, I'll, I'll show you real quick. Is It's the, the Hierophant, the Father of Cups, and the Son of Wands reversed. And I said, oh, wow, just because they're all male figures on here. And so there's definitely a very strong masculine energy going on up in here. Okay. And I want to say too, that even when I was shuffling the cards for your guys' group, um, I feel this will be kind of a bit of a heavy reading and it'll be interesting too. I have, see, I haven't, I promise I haven't looked at them yet or anything like that. But when I was um, shuffling for the Archangel card, um, or chakra to focus on the green one came to my mind or the color green which is your heart chakra and actually you guys have three energy cards so you do have a lot of stuff going on right now um okay nope all right so for your the energy cards is financial constraints reversed deceit and the first um Chakra, Archangel Michael, uh, Archangel Jophiel came up with the solar plexus with forgiveness and um, the life lesson is protecting treasure. Okay, so let me just see what kind of I get from this here. Um, I guess I kind of want to dive right into about for the energies going into September for you guys. The financial constraints reversed is about... Um, really keeping an eye on your finances at this point in time you may i'm not going to say that just because it's tied in with this next card this i would say a certain thing like it's usually like oh you need to watch your spending because you're spending too much right but this card this deceit card next to it just totally trumps all that i believe and so i would say with this card next to it it's about watching who you give your money to. There is somebody that you are borrowing money to or somebody that you are just buying stuff for or that, you know, or even just as like, I, I understand it. You know, like you go out with your friends and you're like, oh, no, don't worry. I got it this time. All right. I got it this time. Are you always that one? Right. Maybe I knew of somebody that um, he had a friend call him at the first of every month because he knew that he had money then and he would go out and he'd pay for all his drinks using him, right? So be aware of going into September, like really start to kind of analyze or pay attention to where is your money going to? What are you spending your money on? That's what this is saying. And once you start to kind of pay attention to that and kind of really look at that, you may notice that there was somebody that you are maybe, I want to say fervor, fervor, I can't even say it now, fervorous, I can't say it. You are giving your money to essentially, or you are paying things for them, or they might be coming to you and being like, hey buddy, I'm kind of, you know, I, I get it. Everybody's kind of struggling right now, especially with COVID and, and everything going on, but they are most of them, I'm, I hate to say this, but I'm going to give what I get is they are intentionally doing this. They know what they're doing. I want to be like, oh, some, some of them might just not know unconsciously. No, they know that they can go to you and you will say yes. They know that if they are having troubles paying for a certain bill that they can go to you and you will say yes to borrow the money because you're that great of a person and you have that big of a heart. Maybe that's why I didn't see the green chakra here, but then that's why maybe that kind of came up is because you have a big heart and you want to help people and you want to, I almost get the sense too, because you, you know what that's like. You've been there before of where you can't pay a certain bill or you've been that friend where other people would pay for, but at some point in time, it, and that's great to do, but it's, again, it's personally, I think it's all about balance, right? Um, and I almost want to say too, is that that, you know, is that person then spending their money on their own stuff or are they acting that way? I don't know. I mean, it's going to be different for different people, but either way, they are intentionally asking you for that money, knowing full well that you will say yes. And you need to start protecting your own finances, which is kind of ties into this life lesson, life purpose. 
is um, protecting your treasure, protecting yourself and protecting your resources, protecting your energy. Um, with this one right here, like this is, is you are doing that with it being reversed is you are not doing that. Okay. So that is going to be your life lesson is because you want to turn that right side up is you want to protect your treasure. You want to protect your energy because you only have so much and you have other things you need to take care of. And a core reason for this too, I would say is looking at this, this root chakra. Okay. Archangel Michael, this one is associated with Archangel Michael. He's amazing. He's good angel to work with. Um, but the first chakra is your root chakra, which is all about that grounding and balanced and stability and all that. And so that's why, again, if you start, if you start to feel bad because things get triggered thinking about like, well, I don't want to say no because I've been there before and I, you know, and they're my friend, I care about them or they have kids or they'll get kicked out, all that kind of stuff. Right. But again, you need to come first. You and your family need to come first. Because eventually they're going to take, 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 take. And before you know it, your cupboard is going to be close to empty. And then when you might come to them saying like, hey, buddy, I've been helping you out. Can you help me back out or something like that? Um, I get the sense that they aren't going to be around. Like they won't even answer their phone because they know what you're going to ask for. And they can't, they can't return it. They can't help you back even just like energy wise, I mean, they might, some of them may just like energy wise, like help out for that energy kind of exchange, but it's not the same. That's not going to pay your bills. That's not going to help you cover groceries or different things. So you need to maintain your stability. And I guess if you're having trouble with that, and if you believe in that or not, uh, angels or not, you can ask Archangel Michael to come with you to give you that strength to say no, or to set those boundaries or to work through those underlying things. Okay. Um, the next chakra then is about the sacral chakra forgiveness. I want to say that this kind of really ties into what we just kind of talked about. And this forgiveness can be uh, twofold. It can be for yourself. So have forgiveness with yourself and have compassion with yourself for, um, so like if you finally realize this and you're like, oh man, how did I get duped by this? How did I not see this earlier? Like why, why did I let it go on for so long? And you can start getting hard on yourself about it. Don't. Okay. Have some compassion with yourself. Have some forgiveness with yourself because you are only human and you have a good heart, okay? You just need to learn how to protect it a little bit more or have set those boundaries and keep your energy, okay? Um, the other thing is, is the forgiveness can also be for the other person, okay? Um, once you maybe realize who this person is, know that they are in a different spot than you are at, emotionally, energetically, all that kind of stuff. And again, I hate to say this kind of stuff, but you are energetically at a little bit higher of a level than they are. You know, maybe you guys were always really good friends or their family members or different things like that. And you guys start at the same level, but because you've been kind of going through this metamorphosis, that's the word that's coming through my mind, metamorphosis or evolving within yourself and your soul in that, you've been starting to raise your vibration. So you're a bit on a different level. You just have different life paths and life purposes. So don't be like, oh man, this person's a mother effort. How could they do this to me and all that kind of stuff? Like, like, no, they're just on a different life path, life purpose. And, you know, they need to figure out their own stuff. So I guess don't put that anger or that lower vibrational energy into, in towards them. Okay. Because the, I guess it's just having that understanding and compassion again, is like you have for yourself, have for them, use that big heart of yours. Okay. Again, we already kind of talked, touched on about the, uh, protecting the treasure is you need to really draw in your energy and especially your money. It looks like at this point in time. Okay. So now going into your tarot cards about the Hierophant tradition, father of cups, fatherhood and son of wands, charisma. Okay. So the Hierophant is usually about, um, traditions and a way of doing things. I think, again, this really ties into about what we kind of talked about in um, regards to about the money and that is going into September is you are very in control and you feel like you're in a good balance of things at this point in time. The Father of Cups is also, um, Cups is about that water and that emotion. And so, 
he's about giving back and providing and that nourishment and he's very much in control of his emotions and has them underway and so I guess definitely when this comes up and you start to go through that stuff is definitely pull on that father of cups type energy, which is not giving into that emotion, just being like, you know, like all of a sudden I, I see like this, like berserker type energy, you know, like, like you, you can go there, right? Like how dare this person take advantage of me and blah, blah, blah. Right. No. And endure the father of cups is, you know, think of that, like a, a king, right? Who sits on his throne and a person comes up to him who he knows did him wrong and he doesn't let his anger take over him, okay? This is something that you have worked on and mastered, essentially, right? Um, the Son of Wands Charisma card reverse, though, lets me know is that this kind of situation or issue you want to say kind of it's like I, I get the image of like a heart to the or an arrow to the heart right it's going to like dent or harm or dent or put in um or damper your um ego so to speak a little bit because again Again, tying into the forgiveness for yourself is go easy on yourself, right? Because the Son of Wands this way is about that fire, that passion, that emotion, and all, or not emotion, but that fire and that passion and action, right? And that's like, look at me, he's like, yeah, everything's great. But with it this way, with it being reversed, let me know, it's like, hey, this might be, this might go a little awry, okay? And with it, the opposite of it is, I guess, Again, going back, it goes back to that forgiveness for yourself. Just go easy with yourself because, again, if you start to get into that mindset of like, oh, I should have known better, all that kind of stuff, is you're going to keep that energy within yourself and um, it's going to come out on other people wrong, right? Again, it's about finding that balance, You ha which you have that ability to because you have the Hierophant here and this is very much masculine energy here within this, right? But at the same time is finding that balance. I say that just because it's like you want to still have your good heart and help people out who need it. But I guess trust your gut or your intuition in that or notice those patterns like set those boundaries like you know what this is the sixth time I have had to help bail you out. That's not I'm I want to help you out and I want to see you do good but this is this is going to be too much I need to protect I need to be able to provide for myself and my family too type of thing right. Mm -hmm. What I would say then is, um, again, so going into September, definitely kind of look at your finances. Who's taking advantage of you on some level? Be gentle with yourself, be gentle with them, and just find that balance of protecting your energy and setting those boundaries, but also still being yourself, which is a very giving and loving person, okay? And you have that masculine energy within you to be able to follow those traditions and set boundaries and not get into that anger space, okay? And so thank you guys for so much for listening till the end of this video. My announcement is, is that I am taking uh, personal readings at this point in time. And if you mention this video, I will give you $10 off a reading. I do uh, psychic as well as medium readings. And you can either contact me on YouTube, Facebook, or my Instagram, or even my website now uh, to set up a time and date. And we can do that uh, via over the phone or via Skype. Um, Facebook Messenger, one of those, whichever you would prefer, or even email, that's fine too. So thank you very much for listening and good luck. Pile number four, or also the Storm Euphoria Light. Love this little piece to work with. Please. Ugh, I swear I can't talk sometimes. Okay, so I have some tarot cards here for you. And then I, you guys got some extra cards. Let's just be honest here. You got an extra tarot card, you got an extra energy card, and you have an extra life path card. So we shall see what comes up. Um, hmm, okay. Ooh, okay. So um, the first things that I kind of want to talk about is for the energy cards is you have the envy card reversed and the contract card reversed, okay? So for an energy letting me know going into September for you guys, 
is you need to be aware of beware of signing certain papers with certain individuals who may not have your best intention in mind. That is a very direct message for you guys. Um, the reason I say that is because the envy card is about people around you that are seeing you and your success and wishing kind of ill will or having that envy and that jealousy towards you. Um, and the contract card reverse is letting me know too, is that, um, that there may be, if, if it, cause you know, if it was this way, it'd be like, Hey, there's a contract coming up. That's going to be a good balance, you know, and just, you know, there's going to be some signage coming up, right? With it being reversed is letting me know, I guess it could be twofold now that I'm talking about it, is, okay, for some of you, be careful because if, if the, you are being presented with some sort of contract, some sort of paper, some sort of long-term signature that you have, be aware of the other person's intentions because they are not the best. Or for some of you as well is that um, you've been waiting for something to kind of come along and wait in the works of something for some sort of contract or some agree verbal agreement that's going to be on paper soon. And it seems like it's a, being a delay in a process in that. That is because somebody is intentionally stalling it and keeping it from you. Wow, these are very strong. It's probably why it's the Stormy light. Like Stormy light is like bam, let's get some stuff done here. Here's some energy. Um, but yeah, okay. So that's the energy kind of going into it. Um, Raziel is your Archangel card for dreams. And that looks like the third chakra, third eye chakra. Yeah, third eye chakra. Um, so this is totally something unrelated to that. But in September is pay attention to your dreams. Um, you're going to get a lot of messages or you're going to be doing a lot of soul work, unconscious soul work in your dreams. You may, lucid dreaming is a word that comes to my mind. Some of you may have that opportunity to kind of work or experiment with lucid dreaming or you will have lucid, well, either way you're going to have lucid dreaming probably. So, um, that is where you can kind of have control over what your dreams are or you'll definitely remember them or this they seem more vivid. That's my experience with them. Um, keep a dream journal. You'll notice themes and patterns that are coming up for you to further uncover. <laughs> I swear to guys, these are, something's very, very strong telling me this stuff. Um, It'll help strengthen your third chakra. It is one of your abilities to be able to lucid dream and work through things. I almost even get the sense that this will be a doorway for some of you to kind of start experimenting as far as for like um, dream walking is a word that comes to my mind, such as like um, visiting other people in their dreams as well a type of dream walking. Um, that is only for a select few of you though. There's, I swear, there is a strong energy here that's passing on these messages. They're very, um, as far as for lessons to learn for September coming up is you have the goblins card and the rescue card, which is really interesting that both of these are together because the goblin, goblin card is about people, I, again, I think goes back to this envy card, all right, is it's going to be like people around you that are, think of like the little goblins or like little trolls, right? Like they're just kind of, and they like messing with people, right? And they talk behind your back. They cause that chaos. They cause that drama and all that kind of stuff. But what you need to do is you need to just ignore the goblins, ignore the trolls, and just kind of keep doing you and keep going forward, okay? But the lesson that you need to be aware of for going into September is not getting stuck into that pattern of, um, I'm just kind of looking at the other cards here, not getting stuck into that other pattern of like having the trolls or goblins come around and that, and you end up retreating and expecting somebody to rescue you like Rapunzel, right? Is you need to 
sometimes we need to rescue ourselves, right? Um, again, with this kind of contract type thing, they're saying, no, that doesn't apply. Okay. All right, fine. Um, so, and again, this, the, the tree on here even sticks out to me, like with the fall coming up in that and look at the rainbow and that. And I mean, it, it's a very beautiful card, but it's about that princess in the tower type of thing and waiting for somebody else to come and rescue you or wanting to have things differently, that longing, that desire, right? Um, so just have that balance. I almost want to say too, of having that, be aware of that longing and desire to fit in with wherever those goblins and trolls are. Like if it's at work and you're like, God, uh, why can't I just fit in at work? Or I just, yeah, I wish I had my friends or different things like that. Don't feed in to the goblins and trolls and join them because you are on a higher level than that. You don't lower your vibration. Don't lower your standards just to try to fit in with other people who are being gossipers and talking behind people's back and backstabbers and stuff like that. Um, you're better than that. So that's another direct message. Um, all right. So as far as for going into September for your tarot cards is, is it's in, it's, it's interesting. Okay. So for the first card coming into September is this 10 of stones richness. You have the son of stones reversed and you have the daughter of stones reversed and you have the empress reversed, okay? So what these are telling me is, okay, first, just to say this off the bat, is there's a lot of stone energy here, okay? Which is about real world material, earthly type things. Again, contract, um, again, um, different actions and friendships that you may have, right? So going into September, you're going to feel on top of the world, like you've got things on under control. Again, there's a rainbow here and that, and you're kind of going to go with the flow of things and you feel that you're in a, in abundance at this point in time. You're, you are reaping your rewards, your hard work, right? But some things to be aware of. And the, you know what, these, this daughter of stones and this son of stones, it's, I've never had this happen where like, these essentially these two are like one right after the other anyways right i want to say that these are almost the goblins and the envy people these are the representations of those people um which okay so then for these cards that i have right is um they could have multicolored eyes or brown eyes um, either was that brown or black hair and, or there might be some white in their hair. And with the son or daughter of stones, um, that is one of the earth signs. So what are the earth signs? I don't know. Taurus is one. Um, I can't think of them offhand, but one of the earth signs, they could be an earth sign. And then the daughter of stones and son of stones is somebody who is maybe a bit younger. Um, the father and mother or queen and king tend, like, tend to represent like an older individual. Although I get the sense that the male is, is an older male, but he acts immature. So that's where like, he might have like the dark hair with like some white in it. So he's, I get mid to late thirties comes to my mind for that individual. And the female It, it, I'm seeing different images because it's, it's going to be for different people for different things here. But um, it's like I see like very, very sh um, straight hair. Um, a darker color, definitely. And she's got very um, pointy, pointy features, like a, not like a point, like a super pointy nose, like, a, you know, but it, she's got kind of more pointy features. Um, a bit, sh she's a short stature too is coming to my mind. Um, so if that resonates with you, maybe that would kind of give you a clue into who these people are, who these people are that might be talking behind your back or that you're engaging that type of behavior with that maybe you really shouldn't be. Okay. So just be aware of that because they aren't acting on the best interest of people involved. They're acting at a lower vibrational level here at this point in time. They're not 
embracing the positive aspects of those cards. They're embracing more of the negative aspects of the Daughter of Stones and Son of Stones. Um, and this then card, the Empress Reversed, then leads me to believe and that is it's representative of more of you at this point in time. And with it being upright, I would say that, you know, that you're embracing your femininity and your power, inner power and your inner goddess or, and that can apply for male or female. Okay. It's that more feminine side or that, um, I get the, the phrase silent queen comes to my mind, right? So that, that inner power, right? That just like inner confidence, right? And, um, like she's in control, right? She's in control of herself and she knows what's going on. And she has no problem being able to tell it like it is, right? But with it being reversed, I think definitely ties back to this rescue card is that instead you're like over embracing it, like kind of waiting for somebody to pull you out of the situation or save you from the situation. Or again, you're just kind of going along with it when really you know I don't know why they're telling me this. When really, you know, you should quit playing with in the mud with the pigs. <laughs> These, your guys' guides or whoever's talking for this is freaking funny. Um, it's a male. He's very strong. Um, it's probably the Stormy of I should use these more often. So, um, that is your September reading. I hopefully, hopefully it was helpful to you guys. Um, again, kind of summary is you're going into September at a high note, watch out for those two individuals who I kind of described, um, as they are not having your best interests in mind. They're talking behind people's back, uh, watch what you sign things and, or they're keeping it from you for whatever reason. And, um, you know, better, you know, and, and don't wait to be rescued. Sometimes you need to up and walk away yourself. Okay. And again, just random thing that despite all this stuff is you got some dream stuff going on okay you need to get rid of all this this chaos and drama and underlying bs kind of stuff because you got some big stuff coming up in regards to like your your abilities and you don't want to miss out on this because it could go it'll if you stay in this muck right the mud with the pig so to speak is these lucid dreams in that are going to um I don't want to say that but it's like it's almost going to frighten you on some level because it's going to be so shocking and in your face because it's the stuff that you need to deal with and and it, because you're not dealing with it consciously your unconscious is going to have to deal with it and it's going to come out kind of weird in your dreams and lucid dreaming then and you don't want that because you again you want to be in control of it and you want to be able to work through this stuff so get the stuff done consciously so your unconscious doesn't have to deal with it okay so um <laughs> <laughs> wow oh my god you guys okay anyways my announcement at the end of this video again thank you so much for listening is that um just mention this video and you can get ten dollars off a personal reading i am taking psychic and mediumship readings and you can contact me here either via youtube my instagram my facebook and i also do have a website now which i will all list under this video, mention it, you'll get $10 off. And you know, I can either do a phone, a video or email reading. So just let me know what you would prefer. And uh, we can dive into things a little bit more for you. So again, thank you so much. And um, have a great September. <laughs> All right, bye.